Let it continue playing Shining Force 2. When we last left off, we had finally defeated Zalbard. And now we are on a quest to find the storytellers before we head back to Grand's Island, which suggests we are actually very near the end of the game. It suggests it. I don't know whether we are or not, but um, hey. Any meta face, face off against the big bad sounds like a plan to me. So. Now that we've gone all the way out here, we might as well head all the way back. I'm expecting a random encounter at some stage. Not the bridge, apparently. Assuming I have to go back. We'll find out, I imagine, but... I'm sure I'll be told, um, Shin, you fool, you forgot to get the... whatever it is. Ah, oh, dear. Bad. That'll happen when it happens, and if it does, I'll go back off screen. Or I'll just use my handy little Ligra spell, I guess. Sure we want to go this way? I'm not sure anymore. There we go. We welcome you. Okay, so Centaur Village. Is there a storyteller place around here? Actually, let's go to the castle then. We need to find a storyteller. Thank you, strangers. Who saved us? I think we were saved by humans. Okay, maybe not. Okay. So wherever we're supposed to go, it's not necessarily... It's Zalbard and defeated Bichula. I trust every soldier, so would you do me a favor? Please go to Morn with me. What are you going to do there? I believe there are survivors in Morn. I'd like to save them. We have to go through Morn to get to Nazca, right? Shin, let's go together. Alright. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so now we're taking somebody with us to a place I'm not 100% sure where it is. Except it's in the mountains somewhere. So, okay. Finally you've left the castle, Vicar Thryger. Yes, so you remember me. What do you want? I have plans for you. I'm very happy that you've come out of the castle. Why? I have been waiting for Fraser. Vicar Fraser, you locked the gate of Moan, remember? My faithful soldiers can't enter Barmesia. Now you will open it. It's a trap. Fraser, run! <laughs> he can't. Kamala! Kamala! Kamala? You met her in Pangod Valley. What? Oh, Kamala, you are here. Get the key for me. Guess you're as devious as usual. That I am. Now get the key. Me? Why? Kamala! I hate you. I won't help you. You want the key? You get it. You can use my army. See you later. That witch! Kamala! That's a private. I don't need your help, Kamala! Come on, devils, kill Shin now! Bye, Shin! Not staying? I am good at using my brains, not my strength. I'll return by the time you're defeated. Okay, battle it is. So. Karzin again, see, Kars, why is Karzin always the first one to go? He's the least useful person for me to just move outright because he's just going to get himself killed. Alright, well, just take him a step forward. We won't ask too much of him. So we now have Necromancers, which are a new enemy, and I think that's a new knight-style unit at the back there as well. Right. So they get into cover. New chest down as well. Not brilliant positioning on my part, I know, but still. It's still protection against um, anything that might happen. And now we're going to go for our boost attack. Uh, is there any way of getting more? I don't think there's more than six, so... If Kyle went first, it'd be perfect, but um, for some reason it's always cars in. Don't 
30 points earned. Yeah, Devil Soldiers, a new enemy. So Necromancers and Devil Soldiers. Obviously replacing the much weaker Wizards, but we still have... Oh, that's much better. With the defense boost, they're not... Ooh, they're up. This map's huge! I thought it was just the center, but there's enemies over there as well? I'm just doing a full check, but... Um, okay, just those two for whatever reason in the middle of nowhere on that side of the board. So I'm quite content to leave them there, actually. Elric moves forward. They can come towards us, or they can stay where they are. Oh, also, I've got you to deal with now. Peter attack. 23 and 4. Oh, he used the power water on Jahar, because I figured he was the most in need of it. Um, Higgins has a ranged attack effectively, so he can get experience more often than um, Jahar. So Jahar needs to do the damage. That was my thinking behind things, so... 15 and 15. How much help have you got left? 12. Considering everything, I'd pr probably try a blast here. 8 mana for a chance of killing, we'll go for that. There we go. Critical for 16. 26 earned. Unfortunately, we're out of range to shoot with May at this point. Right, Higgins moves along. Oh, everybody's just slightly out of range. It's a little annoying. Alright, Master Monk moves in. Yeah, lots of wizards, so I'm going to have to be really careful on... No, let's not do that. Keep you there for now. Move Peter forward. There we go. Now we'll attack. Hopefully, you shouldn't fall in about two or three hits, so. Just being on the safe side. I'm kind of ruining that now by doing this. Critical sword, this is, so 30 damage. Could do have another one. Alright, Slade. Who's, that, who's going to be able to attack Slade if he moves there? I think just those two, so I think Slade's okay with that attack. Ninja magic! 18 and 19. Hopefully that'll be enough for the Master Monk to do some healing rather than attack as well, so that'll keep Slade safe. While, test the moves up. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore those two, I think. Unless it comes down to it. Um, right, I can attack from there, so we shall. I should really heal um, Elric, actually. Next time I get a healer turn, we'll have to do that. But we have Chester, of course, who is our favourite little um, meat shield for this um, sort of for this sort of battle. He works well as a meat shield. Right, attack the Orc Lord for the kill. And that should get Higgins rather close to level 8. In fact, it does get him to level 8. All good things. And as expected, the monkey heals himself. I think we want to go for a full... Nah. It's tempting to waste all his magic, but to be fair, there's more, there's better uses for it later if it comes to it. For now, we'll just, just do some taps. I prefer not to waste um, large quantities of magic on just single targets if I can avoid it. That being said, sometimes you can't. But I have plenty of supporting characters near Karzin, so... Played. And a skill. Oh, I've 
been playing, um, I've, I've recently picked up a 3DS, um, so I've been playing f the Fire Emblem Awakening game, and dear god do I love that, even if it is really, really annoying losing characters in it. I, I always feel that. I've, I've played certain um, Fire Emblem games where it's next to impossible to finish the game if you lose too many people too quickly. I've gone through the first two missions of it and lost two characters and figured, oh, this is good. I'm going to struggle from here. I'm playing on hard. I shouldn't be playing on hard, but I always, I always try to. I do like the Fire Emblem series as a whole. I've only played two games, uh, two free games of it so far, which are the um, the GameCube ones and obviously the one that's on the 3DS now. Oh, I, I need to get you over to Elric, don't I? Bit of a waste of mana with a range difference, but need Elric healed. Well, they're all lining up in a row for me, seemingly over there. Anyway, the point I was about to make was that I'm quite glad that this doesn't follow the same uh, permadeath rules in some ways as um, Fire Emblem does. Otherwise I'd be really, really in trouble for a lot of the battles. That permadeath makes things interesting. It means you have to really, really plan and you, it is tragic when your plans fail. It is the main reason I like the Fire Emblem series so much, actually. I know I could reload and sometimes I do get to a point where it's it is pretty much undoable because I've lost too many people, but still, I like a game that forces that decision on you. And I do try to fight, fight on regardless, but sometimes it does get... Having fewer people means there's always, there are bigger gaps in your holes and you end up losing more people, so it's, it's losing people quickly that's the problem. Still, this is a different game. So you're in a 3DS and um, don't have Fire Emblem? Get it, it is awesome. Right. Actually, we can just actually just go and physically attack you. Stab. Master Monk moves forward and does some healing. Was that a heal four he just used? I wasn't paying too much attention, but I thought that said heal four. Also, you're moving away from Jahar, and this is preventing him from being able to do his thing. All right, Shin's attack. See, now we've got a group, so now I can use Blaze. Uh, full Blaze though, anyway. And that tends to just ignore the two up the top. They're worth money, and I need to I need to hoard money if I can here. Um, I also would like Jahar to get some battle experience. Go for a blast spell. Double kill. That should definitely earn a 49. Oh, we have an aura spell at last. Aura is the area heal. We needed that for a long time. Are you gonna come? Ah, uh, whatever. All right, you're not gonna come say hi. You're just gonna sit there, aren't you? Move me a little forward. I'm, I'm sort of being reluctant. Oh, there we go. I have to let him have an area attack. Jahar's not the. I thought Jahar had some defense points, to be honest. Alright, you need healing, so we're gonna move you back for that. Jahar needs healing as well, but I can't really get to him at the moment. And all right, what can I do with you at the moment? I can just move you forward in, in, in preparation, so we shall do that. Higgins, so also move forward. Jahar will move back round just in case um, Sarah gets a turn before beforehand, so you're slightly closer. Yeah, they don't want to move forward, do they? Alright, 
go for a full heal, I think. Because you got the mana to spare. And now an area attack on Jahar as well. He's getting a bit battered, but I do want him to get the kill here. So this is their duel, I'm not going to interfere in that, and I think now... Didn't need to do that, I'm going to do this. And now we need to kill this Harpy Queen. going to leave that to Jahar, as I've said. I didn't realize Shin was actually all in that bad shape. Shouldn't be a problem, I imagine, but still. It's not good for me to not notice these things. Oh, and magic attack on May as well, which won't hurt her too much. Overall, then, this battle far easier than the one that we just had. I am going to kill with these um, just because I don't want to lose Shin at this point in a stupid manner. Just in case the turn order goes awkward. And that is a big, big stat boost for Peter. You know, if we just hid behind here and did nothing, we could have a tired day off. All to ourselves. What do you say, Orc Lord? Sounds like a plan, boss. <laughs> just stay out of sight. Do nothing. Right, so Shin does need the healing, but I think what I'll do here is actually just attack with Sarah and get the kill. Boom. And let's move Higgins into... Let's move Higgins on the point. They still have to come towards us, so... Yeah, that just moves him slightly closer to the action in case he eventually does kill the Harpy Queen. Or the Harpy Queen gets bored. Alright, first attack from Dark Bishop. I could try a D-Soul, but it won't work, so I'm just gonna go and blaze him. Sixteen for one. In comes the oh darn it. That Necromiles has some range. Thankfully, we got some hit points. Yeah, we'll heal Jahar again just for some more points. Hopefully, I'm hoping to get Jahar to level 9. I'd like to get um, Higgins to level 9 as well, actually, but we'll see how this turns out. Yeah, it sounds out of range. Bug won't be later, so that's fine. Just thinking. We'll move Shin back. I can't afford to move him forward. Chester moves round. He moves forward. Just staying out of magic range a bit here. Darn it, Harvey Queen, we wanted to kill you with Jahar and you got May. Uh, May's Protect Ring really not helping out as much as it should do. Okay. Well, let's get the important jobs up first. Prevent us from losing this battle in a silly manner. 13 and level 13 for you as well. Detox level 3. I think they're starting to feel a bit guilty about missing out the battle. <laughs> oh, Dark Bishop is just gone. Good shot and good revenge for me. Problem is, we've bunched the people up a bit here, so... Yeah, Higgins is in trouble. I'm gonna... Oh, I didn't think I'd be able to. I made an error there, but now Higgins is about to die. 
Necromancer versus Karzin, and Karzin is just killed. Bopped on the head by a Necromancer and he's dead. Let's get Higgins healed as well. I mean, a good match for our healers, actually, this run. I mean, neither of them are really at a problem level, actually. They're actually some of our higher level people, but... It was a concern when I started this game, because it was a concern the last game that my healers were too low level. Critical for 34, Slade is level 14 now. And has now learned Rajin. So he's now his Bolt equivalent spell. Devil Soldier versus Geralt. 23. Sneak attack! Alright, Geralt attacks. 24 and 16. And darn you, Harpy Queen. I want to get you killed. Dodge, go, let me kill you! Ah! Alright, let's shoot the Necromancer to death with Elric. I'm actually surprised how useful Elric and May have been this entire game. The only one she can attack is the person we don't want him to attack. Yeah, they're just hiding out. It's fine, I don't mind actually. In an odd sort of way. Alright, Peter attacks. Oh, darn it. That's probably gonna end the battle then. Yep. Well, battle over. We were successful. And now we can move on to Moan. So, I'm going to go find the church, which I believe was over here somewhere. Yes, it was. We're going to save up, and next time we are going to head into the mountains somewhere and continue playing Shining Force 2. So, until then then, folks.